www.war-lords.net Hi, this is um, Warlords Tech and I'm here to be more elaborate on the port forwarding. Some of you guys have a problem with it, so I'm here to show you the rest of it. So, um, you need help forwarding your ports. Programs use ports through routers to connect to the internet, basically. And um, the router basically somehow makes the security settings to block ports for your protection and um, gets annoying for people and um, now we have to open them up. So let's go to your router's static IP address. You can find that on the box of your router that you bought. Um, usually it's 192.168.1.1 and you can input that into any internet browser that you have. So um, now that you're there at your router, this is basically your router configuration and um, you need to get in. So there's usually a default name and pass and it, it'll say it somewhere on the box. So mine's is default and um, there's the pass. Okay, so now that I'm in it, um, here we go. I'm in the router. Mine's is a link SYS BEFSR41 router. Make sure you know your the company that made it and your models right there. It's not usually the same layout, but you get the point. So um, it's in under security settings there. Actually, this one's under applications and gaming, but you can find it under security sometimes. So, um, this is mine. And, um, now, you, you know you need to open a port, but you have a program and you really don't know which one it is. Go to portforward.com slash routers.htm. And here, you can find any router with from the company that made it to the model number so basically as I said mine was a link SYS BEF SR41 so let's look for that links SYS BEF SR41 right there click it skip that advertisement right there and um, scroll down and there's a list of nearly, well, all the programs that you need right there. And they basically show you directions of how to open the port for each program for the router you have. So let's say I want to open a port for StarCraft. Let's say my StarCraft has problems and um, I can't connect or I can't make a game. So let's look for StarCraft. There we go. Scroll down. This is basically how you get in. Right there. It'll have your default static router address right there that you need to put in for the browser and it's different for every router but this one's common so we scroll down gives you directions it even tells you how to do it so basically once you get here you don't even have to pay attention to this video but well yeah you do actually because there's this one part they don't tell you about the IP address so the port range is you can name the application whatever you want there. So I'll put SC for StarCraft. The start and end port is 6112. So 6112. 6112. And it's for both. And it's there. Okay, now the last part. They tell you to enable it, but what they don't tell you is what to put in that little box an IP address so it's 192.168.1. blank and most people get confused right there and that's where all the mess happens so you need to put the right number there which is 
what router your what IP address your router is giving for you as a static router IP so let's open up command prompt you can go to if you didn't see that start search or run CMD this black thing will pop up so type exactly what I say right here IP config space slash all okay now all that junk pops up scroll up and down what you're looking for is the IPv4 address right there and it should say preferred IPv4 address scroll over so basically 192.168.1.103 103 is mine so we need to put 103 in there so basically that's the only part that portforward.com doesn't give you is what to put in that last spot and that's what you need to put your IPv4 preferred address now this changes actually once in a while so maybe once every month it'll change or something like that but um you need to update this so keep in mind that you need to come back in here and make notes so okay save settings and it's good okay now people usually stop the video right here but what you guys need to notice is that if you have antivirus programs that might be the cause too so if you don't even have a router and this is happening open up your antivirus AVG, Kaspersky, Norton usually what this does is this uses a port forward type program system in it so what you need to do is basically open the port through your antivirus as well so if you have an antivirus you definitely need to go to this as well so what you're usually looking for is the firewall settings so basically try to go to application filtering that that's usually what we're looking for so look for starcraft or whatever it is and here you can allow you get the point in some other antivirus programs you have to input the port itself and you really you can't select what program you want the port to open so this is an easier antivirus to work with but some of them are really anal so you have to open it up go to the firewall settings and, and whatnot and um, you have to open the port yourself so basically you have to input 6112 on UDP port and TCP port since it was both so remember that if you don't know how to open it through your antivirus program usually you can check their support sites and they'll have more information on that and um... basically that's all if you want to forward a port so basically that's it